to a great dismay. We're living in a generation that the Torah is not known to most Jewish people. They have no idea what the Torah is all about. They hear the word Torah, what's written in the Torah, some type of antiquated, funny ideas. They don't have no idea what it's all about. They have wrong impressions that be they're fed to them by who knows who. Torah. That's what we live by. What makes a Jew into a Jew? The Torah. Who, know, who studies Torah? Not nearly enough as it should be. Not nearly enough as it used to be. And that's up to us to change that. I think probably every year I get up and speak, I probably say over, but I think it's worthwhile saying it. I met the Jew that said to me, I don't believe in the Torah. I said to him, you don't believe in the Torah? Did you ever study Genesis? No. First book of Moses, no. Exodus, the second book of Moses, no. Leviticus, the third book of Moses, no. Numbers, the fourth book, no. Deuteronomy, the fifth book of Moses, no. Never studied the whole Torah. How about Mishnah? The, the Aurela? No. The Talmud? No. The Medrash? No. So what don't you believe in? I said to him. He's totally ignorant of anything of Torah. Never studied anything. He doesn't believe in it. You hear that? People who study Torah, their eyes are open up. They're fascinated. They're absolutely in ecstasy. They study Torah to see the, the great ideas the depth, the warmth, the excitement of studying Torah. I've studied Torah with professional people, doctors, lawyers, who never studied before. I studied Talmud with them. They said, wow, that's what it is. I never knew that before. I'm missing so much in my life, not realizing what Torah is all about. Educated people, people with high positions. But they never had the opportunity. So, my good friends tonight, my brothers and sisters, my Jewish brethren, we have to make better. We have to do better. We have to listen to the words of the Torah of Shafta. You should turn to Hashem. You will search for Him with all your heart. How do we search for Him? By studying His Torah. That's how we search for Him. That's how we, where we find Him. And that's why I'm giving out this plea. Now, before Yom Kippur, after Yom Kippur, before Rosh Yom Kippur, such holy, important, outstanding, exciting days, God's reaching out His hand to us. Do tshuva, come back. Search for me, look for me, find me. How? You have to study Torah. That's the only way. No other way to find God, only through his Torah. And therefore, I give out my passionate plea to you that you take advantage of all the different ways to study Torah today. And one of them, we, we offer Torah mates, like was mentioned before by Rabbi Biderman, that we have a uh, open opportunity for everybody, free of charge, to have a over the telephone to study once a week for an hour. We have thousands of people that join this, and they're very excited about it. They're so, you should hear everybody's different uh, comments they have, that they not only study Torah with the person, they become friendly with them, they become a whole, a whole uh, uh, connection with the person that they have, they're studying and they're so happy with it, and, it's, and they're opening up their eyes to see they never studied Torah before, how great it is. This is the, the foundation of the whole world. God looked in the Torah and, and, and created the world. So it's something that we have to take upon ourselves, something before Yom Kippur, on Yom Kippur, to tell God, we're doing tshuva, we want to come back to you, we want to be different, we want to take upon ourselves something more Jewish, we want to elevate ourselves to a higher idea, a higher Elevation of Judaism, something new, some not the same thing over and over again, the same life, the same years, the same days. We want to be a little more exciting. 
we have to take upon ourselves something new. And I, I, I ask everybody here that uh, whatever things you take upon yourself to do, whether it's to be more kosher in your house, whether it's to light candles on Shabbos, whether the most pious person will, will be more careful with the way they speak, with the most unaffiliated, maybe something to keep Shabbos once in a while in this house, Friday night, everybody to take something upon themselves, but whatever, of it, to start to study Torah, that for sure, everybody should take upon themselves. So this is the message I wanted to give, and uh, I think I'm giving over the message of Hashem and the Torah that we're in this generation. He's telling us, demanding from us, you saw the Holocaust, you're horrified by the Holocaust, Now's the time, this is the end of days. Tshuva, come back to me, look for me. And now we'll go over, anybody has any questions who would like to ask, we'll open up.